Hey guys, welcome back. Another video on 2%, uh, my 1983 GMC. Couple of quick things uh, before I get to where I'm at on it today. I had a subscriber ask me what kind of polish I use on my wheels. This is the polish I use on my wheels. Uh, Chrome It Super Polish. I don't know if there's a website on here. This is stuff I buy at the Rod Run. Bought this, there it is, www.chromit.us. This is really good stuff. This stuff is old. Uh, like I said, it's probably a couple years old and it's been out here in my garage. It's been hot, cold. It's, uh, you know, it's not really been kept up like it should have been, but it's really, really good stuff. Um, I want to say that was probably 20 bucks for that bottle, but it goes a long way. Uh, like I said, I've had that two or three years. I might've had it. I might have had it longer than that. I don't really remember when I bought that, but I did buy it at the Rod Run at the LeConte Center. Um, if y'all go up there and you see that polish, grab you a bottle of it. It's real handy to have around, even if you're going to polish like your beauty rings or um, I actually used it on the bumper, the front bumper of Sam, and I just rubbed it on with a rag and wiped it back off. I didn't use a ball. Now this is what I used for my wheels. This is a Meguiar's. Uh, polishing cone, polishing cone or something, but uh, I usually use the mother's uh, the the ball, you know, the polishing ball. But anyways, that worked really well. Uh, really got my wheels looking a lot better than they did. I've got neighbors out here uh, that have dogs, not getting down on them. They're dogs. Uh, they like to run around, but for some reason they like to pee on my wheels, and it's not wheels like on my white truck or that chevelle but it's it's these wheels it's the more expensive wheels so i don't know what the deal is there but anyway you can polish it out it just takes a while i think i worked on these about two hours the other day to get them polished back out but uh that's neither here nor there like i said i had someone ask me about the polish that's what kind of polish i use also air crane ink a-i-r-c-r-a-n-e space ink it's two words, uh, air crane ink. I told y'all wrong the last time. I thought it was all one word, but it's two words. Please jump over there and subscribe to his channel. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, if y'all are, you know, aviation guys or whatever, uh, you like helicopters, just, con you know, heavy construction, just stuff like that. It's, it's really cool. So get over there and check him out. You know, I've been watching some of his videos, and it's pretty intriguing what those guys do. Um, so check them out. Air crane ink, please. Cut this video off, jump over there, subscribe to him real quick, come back and watch this one. I really appreciate it. Um, he's a good dude, and he's really good at what he does. So check him out and uh, watch his videos. Please hit the subscribe button. He needs some subscribers. So, All right, uh, back to 2%. Plans change. My plan was to put the 305 in 2%. I cannot stand for something to beat me. And I laid in bed. I lost sleep over this, guys. I lose sleep over stuff like this. Something that just aggravates me and drives me insane. Uh, so I got back out here. I got back on this motor, just sort of checking things out. I done some research. Uh, found some forums where guys were saying that these castings were off on these motors. Uh, this one's acting particularly weird because it will do good for a minute and then start eating the flywheel up. But it's just on the big flywheel. I had no issues on the small flywheel. Uh, another thing that I found is that sometimes these torque converters, especially the cheaper stall converters, uh, I guess they've got some sort of sprag or something in them that might lock up and kind of cause issues like that. Uh, so I'm going to do away with the stall converter. I'm going to do away with the, I guess you'd call it an 11-inch flywheel. It's the 100 and 68 tooth i'm going to go back down to the 153 or 54 tooth the smaller flywheel and uh, you know the starter that has the bolt holes straight across um, the only real reason i wanted to get away from that was because if you had an issue out on the road it's a lot easier to find a starter uh, for the bigger flywheel you know at your local auto zone or o'reilly's advanced auto parts whatever napa um, but you can get these starters. Uh, you can get them for a, uh, late 80s, early 90s, Camaro, the LT1s. A lot of those had the smaller flywheels and stuff on them, especially if you order it for the straight shift. 
uh, it's the same starter more or less but uh, I call everything 10 11 inch flywheels I guess that comes from the size of the clutch disc uh, on a straight shift flywheel so these other flywheels it's 153 or four tooth and 168 I think one of them measures 11 inches one of them measures uh, 14 so anyway gonna go back to the smaller flywheel I had a couple problems with this truck I had some bad spark plugs that I had gas fouled really bad because of the starter issue where I was trying to start it, I was beating the gas pedal like primary's best does uh, <laughs> and uh, I just fouled the crap out of these plugs and just ruined them I took them out cleaned them two or three times it didn't help I bought a new set of plugs the motors running like a top now also I had a bad power valve which was contributing to the fouling of the plugs you know it's just pouring gas uh, it was popping through the exhaust popping through the carburetor I thought I was having a timing issue also I changed the distributor I didn't need to change the distributor because when I went to change the distributor the distributor was extremely loose and that's not how I do business I'll usually snug them up pretty good so I can move the timing back and forth until I figure out exactly where I want to be especially with something with you know a cam and stuff in it uh, this motor does not have timing marks but like I said with the cams and stuff you just got to sort of find that sweet spot but anyway uh, especially if you didn't put the motor together you don't know exactly where that cam is uh, you know as far as I didn't I didn't degree this or anything to figure out where it was at but anyway uh, I ain't gonna get into all that uh, the distributor I believe I, I did not have it seated into the motor like it should have been I think I was a tooth or two off and uh, that was screwing me up and it probably dropped down that's the reason I thought I was moving my number one and I wasn't it just a stupid mistake I've done a bunch of these I've never had that issue but I did on this one so anyway the motor's running great now I'm still having trouble out of starting a flywheel I'm gonna put the smaller flywheel and starter back on it this motor had that on it when I got it and I never had that issue so I'm gonna go back to that I'm gonna put a smaller style in it I don't like this style anyway it's too dang big for you know just your normal person uh, if somebody was to jump in this truck and drive it you probably wouldn't like it it's it's a huge style it's fun it's a lot of fun but I'm gonna drop that down just you know to where the truck you know you can stop at a stop sign you're not gonna be chugging and you know the truck ain't gonna be jerking around and trying to die your brakes are gonna be able to work well uh, and the truck should still have good power so I again I don't know what kind of cam is in this truck I don't know what what they've done with the heads so I, I there's no way I can really figure out exactly what style I need other than just guesswork so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to put a smaller style in it something that will make it a little more drivable and uh, change the flywheel change the starter this truck should be ready to go now I will have to get a fan shroud I'm going to change the fan again I'm going to clean up in here I've sort of made a mess of things working on stuff fan shroud uh, again the flywheel the starter smaller style a good breather I'd like to find maybe a stock style breather uh, maybe even with the you know the hose that comes down here and a fan shroud and and probably a clutch fan I'd like to get rid of that fan put the power steering on it this trucks ready to go uh, I hope here we go hope and pray it's ready to go I'm, I'm ready to have this truck down I'm ready to drive it I'm ready to sort of have a little bit of fun with it uh, there it is that's that's where I'm at with it so the uh, 305 is going to stay in the Chevelle for now. Um, but, you know, again, just a plethora of problems with this 83. Just a, a couple stupid little things like bad spark plugs. They're brand new plugs, but again, I fouled them out. The power valve went out on the carburetor. It's a brand new power valve. I just just rebuilt that carburetor. So, But that's that's sort of an issue with these Hollies. Any of you guys fool these Hollies, you know what I'm talking about. Um, so again just a just a plethora of things that happened all at once and that caused similar symptoms so you change one thing and it's still kind of doing it maybe it's a little better and you think well what in the world so it, you know that's sort of what i've been running into on this truck uh, but who knows there's a reason for everything maybe that was to get this old car back up here out of the woods and uh kind of let me regain a little bit of interest on it now i'm not going to do anything with it for a while but uh, I have had some ideas kind of rolling around in my head. So I'm glad I'm going to get to leave the motor and stuff in it. Um, 
just so I can kind of move the car around, you know, if need be. And, uh, you know, I don't have to jerk it around with a back over another truck or whatever. So, anyway, 305 standing in the Chevelle right now. Now, if for some reason 2% continues to give me problems with the flywheel, I don't think it will. Like I said, this flywheel was on this truck, and I'll show it to you. Give me just a second. Let me dig it out. I will kind of show you a comparison of... Oops, drop the tape measure there. Uh, here we go. Right here's one of the flywheels that I put on this truck that did not work out. This is the flywheel that come off the truck. This is a GM flywheel, so I'm going to use it. Uh, probably put some better washers on my torque converter. I don't think they had good washers on it. But you can see that that starter was making a really good connection. I don't know if you can really see that real well on this camera, but you can see where that starter was hitting the flywheel. It was doing good. Um, this is one, one flywheel that came off of this truck. And again, I've shaved this starter down. I'm gonna have to change the head. I have shimmed it, I have shimmed it, and I have shimmed it. I've shimmed it uh, sideways. I've shimmed one side or the other. I've, I've shimmed it, guys. I've done everything I can do. I even took a grinder and I ground it down a quarter of an inch, but it's, it's just not engaging real well. You can see there where it's at. Um, and you can also see maybe see how that was engaging it's like the flywheel was in a bind and it was flexing so it's very possible that i'm having some issues with that stall converter i don't know where that stall came from i don't know why i took it out but you can see here there's an issue probably with that torque converter i built that transmission i don't think there's an issue with the transmission i believe i'm having a problem with my torque converter I could probably buy another um, 168 tooth flywheel and put it back on the truck with the new stall. But I'll be honest with you, I'm over it. I'm not going to fool that anymore. I've, that's going to be the fourth time I've had to pull all this loose and put a flywheel in it. So I'm, I know that one worked. I know it worked well. There was no issues. Again, I just wanted to get away from that starter you know with the straight across bolt holes just to put it in layman's terms the smaller uh flywheel starter um i wanted to step up to the bigger flywheel and the more common starter uh, so anyway we're going to get away from that again the other starters no problem to find uh, they've got them in stock at these other stores and stuff they're a little more expensive but that's okay i don't care i don't want any more issues with this truck so that's what we're going to do and uh Hopefully, like I said, this thing will be on the road. I don't have long until Shades the Pass kicks off and then the very next week is Rod Run. The week week or two or three after that, I'm gonna to go to Florida. So I've gotta get this truck done for Shades the Pass or the Rod Run um, and get it up there. So anyways, all right guys, I'm sorry that the video I've kind of rambled on. Uh, I just wanted to mention my buddy uh, that has the channel Air Crane Inc. and I wanted to show uh, that viewer the uh, polish that i use so all right guys y'all have a good one get in the house and uh get a shower and start getting ready for bed you got to get the you know baby kind of wound down get dinner and uh and then again work uh, is right here on me tomorrow and i'm working this weekend as well so i don't know when i'll get around to this thing hopefully next week i got to get the style ordered I'm, i order a lot of these styles from uh, i think it's called chicago transmission I've not had a bad one yet. I don't know if you guys may have, but I've not had a bad one yet. So um, that's where it's going to come from. I'm going to put like a 24 to 2800, maybe a 2500 to 3000. Probably go as small as I can just in case something happens with the motor. I don't believe there will be an issue, but just in case there is, uh, it, you know, a 24 to 2800, it should work with that 305 and be okay. But again, I don't think there'll be no problems. I never had a problem with this motor like I'm having now when it had that flywheel and starter on it. So put all that back on it. Hopefully we're ready to go. All right, guys. Y'all have a good one. And like uh, always, I'll catch you on the next one. Hopefully that will be sooner than later.